<clears throat> hey, what's up, fish family? How's everybody doing? Well, it's been a long time that I have, haven't actually made an update on this aquarium. So, I decided to pick up the camera and give you guys an update on how my tank is doing. This is my 30 gallon um, Innovator Marine 30 long. It is a reef um, setup, saltwater setup. Um, as you guys could tell, I used to have another tank set up to the left, and I shut down that tank about two weeks ago. So, um, I don't know if this is going to be my last update. It shouldn't be, um, but I am going to shut this tank down. Um, I'll let you guys know a little bit more um, once we dive into the aquarium itself. Um, but, um, I'll tell you guys everything that's been going on to this aquarium. Um, I'll stop talking and let me just introduce you guys to some stuff. Um, as you guys seen, um, I got rid of my other paintings. Uh, I said in a previous video, I traded them for some corals. So my wife made me some new canvas paintings. Um, it says a frogfish, some soas, a gold torch and a little mushroom and I print out the channel's logo um, what I want to do is actually perfect the logo and make some shirts and stickers and that would be pretty cool here's just some random stickers that I got when I went to a um, reef um, coral farmers market and the one right here I got from Instagram from Salty Reef Girl. And that's pretty much it. Alright, so let's dive into the cram. So let's go with the equipment. I am still using the a Kessel AP700. I went actually to visit, as I am recording, um, yesterday I went to visit my mom. And I did put my aquarium, my aquariums and my equipment, um, reef. Um, corals and fish everything up for grabs um, somebody was interested in the Kessel AP 700 um, I went to meet the person um, but I pulled out I told the person that I'll think on it a little bit more because actually I need to rehome my corals first before I sell anything but he told me no worries that he will still be interested in purchasing the light so that is what um, what I am going to do, I'm going to call him once uh, I saw everything. Anyhow, so one big difference in the light is that it's actually um, more, it's not as close as it used to be. It used to be to right here, which was like 7 inches. Now I think it's about 14 inches height. And um, in my opinion, it seems like the corals are liking it because they are actually expanded expanding more than how they used to be I am still using the marina um, heater and it's still been working it's been working for me pretty well I am still using the skimmer which needs to get cleaned today because I haven't cleaned it in a while and the skimmet hasn't really been producing it's probably for the lack of um, maintenance on the skimmer itself still use the um, filter pads in the back but I decided to use actually my um, socks um, which um, I'm going to add these today after I feed the corals and now let's jump into what's inside the cramp to be honest I haven't really been focusing on this tank in a long while in a long time um, there's a lot of algae, current algae in the glass. I need to scrape that off. <sighs> I've just been busy, you know, life. Um, and I lost my interest in this aquarium. Um, I went through something in this tank. Um, some corals started dying. I don't know what reason. But um, I think I just want to start out fresh. Uh, make my mind of what type of setup I want to do, what type of corals I want to add, what type of fish I want to add. Um, 
my wife told me today, man, your tank looks empty. It looks like it's missing a lot of corals, and it is. Most of the corals are actually upstairs. I'll make another video on that. I had a new corals upstairs, and I did a new setup. Um, the previous frag tank setup that I showed you guys previously, I actually teared that setup down. I made a new one, and um, yeah. So, um, let's go ahead and jump to the corals. So, let's start here to the left. I have my torch. It used to be two heads. Um, one head died off. I don't know why. Um, I think it's just unhappy where it's at because it hasn't really expanded. I have another chalice back there, which I forgot its name. But it has grown so much. I also have right there a Miami pink eye coral chalice that has been doing pretty well. And here I have a Aiken that has been really growing really well for me. Um, and back there is another Aiken that I had. The second colorful because this was least colorful Aiken. That, that was my second most colorful and then my most colorful Aiken died. It got stung by another um, Aiken. The, what are those other Aikens called? The Chinata Aiken. And yeah. So it's actually thriving. Um, I see that it's tr starting to get some growth. Um, I'll feed them. After this video, I just didn't want to feed them right now because they'll shrink up and stuff. So I wanted you guys to actually be able to see um, the corals how they usually are. Let me just turn down the flow. I actually just turned up the flow right now. But I don't think the corals like it that much. So now moving on. I, this is my hammer. So this hammer has about four heads. It's been doing pretty well for me. Uh, nothing much. Just it's been growing. Now we move a little bit more to the right. I have my mushroom rock which is always doing well and again sorry for the reflection since I added the light a little bit higher it does give off some reflection as I record um, then right here is an octo spawn that has always been doing really bad for me I don't know why um, I don't know if it doesn't like that spot I always try to move it to different spots to see if it opens up but it always looks like it's doing bad so, I'm um, just not having luck with it. Now, let's move more to the right. Here I have a Ghani Pora. The Ghani has done really well for me. Um, it has grown so much. Uh, yeah, pretty much it. Now, up here is a bicolor hammer that I, I added. Nothing to complain about. It's doing well as well hopefully it starts to grow a little bit more and then up there i have a frog spawn which was actually four heads and two heads died off in the past week um hopefully the the left of the heads does pretty well um i don't know why they started to die off i'm not sure what but i did do a um five gallon water change last week I'm going to clean the skimmer so if there's anything um, that's affecting the water column, affecting my corals, would be removed. Um, so this is actually a new hammer that I have. It's not my original um, frog spawn. Sorry, I said hammer. My frog spawn. Um, a while back, I was rehoming some corals um, that I had right there. I had a like little f uh, frag tank setup thing going on um, when they came to grab some corals they seen the corals that I had here they asked if I was selling those so I was like yeah I guess so I sold it but then I regretted it right away so I went to my local to a local hobbyist a local he reefer who sells corals and um, I got this from him also the bicolor um, hammer which I got from him but yeah so they started doing bad. What I try to do, I try to do a coral recovery, frack recovery from Brightwell. And um, I guess it didn't work because um, the other head died off. Only one head had died off. Then I put them on the frack recovery from Brightwell. 
and still died off so i don't know if it got sick or something if something's bothering eating it i'm not sure if there's something in my water column one thing about me that i'll say you guys i'll, I'll be honest i have never um tested my aquarium so only time i had tested my my tanks is when um uh, when i do a setup uh, when I do, I go through the cycle. I just test for that. I have and I don't test for carbon, magnesium, alkalinity, anything of that. Phosphates. Um, I, that's something I should do. But um, I think when I uh, set up my new tank, once I shut this down and start fresh, I think I'm gonna take everything slow, buy the things that I need. Um, because it's really important to be honest um, I don't really worry about this tank as much because I do a, a water change every other week and that's how I uh, replace all the nutrients and the elements the corals need for feeding um, I do once a week uh, feeding as well um, I try not to feed as much to the corals because I notice that um, I'll start to get a lot of uh, my nitrate level and phosphate level will go up so um, even though I said I don't test I could tell because of the algae that I'll get on the sand bed or in the glass um, and you can tell when your crows are not doing well um, back there I have my Echinata Aiken which has been doing well hasn't really grown as uh, as much sorry I can't really record but I have it back there because I realized it, st it stings everything. I got that because I traded a skimmer that I had. They gave me that and cash plus a um, mushroom, which I never found. <laughs> I just threw it in the tank and it died. So here, this is a new piece that I got, um, which I shouldn't have got because I am sending this tank and selling everything. This is a elegance coral that I purchased. It is an Australian. So always make sure your Aiken, your elegance are from Australia and not Indonesia. Um, I've heard that the Indonesian elegance are a little bit more peakier. They tend to actually not survive in your home aquarium. And Australian elegance um, are likely to survive and thrive in your aquarium. And they're more hardy. This is a beautiful piece. Um, I'm, I'm actually going to turn on the blues. But when I turn on the blues, you can't really see the color on the elegance. That's what I noticed. It seems like it has three mouths. Um, so what I'll have to feed this guy will be some shrimp. That's what I was told. To feed him shrimp. Or um, oysters. Or something like that. I forgot. Um... And there, back there, I have a um, wild, um, a wild caught Deadpool mushroom, which I got. At first, it wasn't doing really well, um, so I just decided to leave it as is, and uh, just let it be itself and get it just its occurring. Sometimes that's what you have to do: just let the corals be themselves. If they make it, they make it. If they don't, they don't. I notice if you put your hands too much and move everything around you could shock the corals the fish your system and that's a big no no so just make sure you acclimate everything right now but right here is my last corals this is i forgot the name of that i got it from the coral farmers market that coral has been really good um i don't have nothing to complain about it has grown slowly but it's growing and then back there, I have my rose anemone. I also do have, or I had, a rainbow anemone, which I also got from the show. But um, it's not doing so well. It's shrinked, and it's, I don't know if it's still alive or not. I seen it about three days ago. It wasn't really looking really good. Um, so hopefully it makes it. If not, then I learned. Like I said, guys, pretty much that's pretty much it. There isn't really nothing different in this aquarium like my wife said um, I remove a lot of things um, this is my tank which I'm not gonna have for I'm not gonna have 
what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to feed the corals. Um, I need to put the the socks, the filter socks on. But let me turn on the blues and let's see. I'm going to add the, the filter and let's see how it looks on the camera. Alright guys, so I decided to turn on the blue lights and add the orange filter. And this is um, how everything stands out with the filter and the blue lights. Let's go with the painting because my wife did add some... Um, glow um, paint and as you can see the mushroom glows and also the soa glows um, a little bit here as you guys can see the white glows a little bit but not as much um, but yeah and that's pretty much it but it looks, look, looks pretty nice I like this painting so let's go with the corals that actually pop out let's see what corals want attention so the mushrooms, like always, they look beautiful. Um, they're like a red to orange color. Um, then my frog spawn, the hammer looks pretty well. The egg cans look well. Torch doesn't really s stick out. The anemone does. Um, that little digi looking frag look steak um pops out um octo spawn looks really bad the gani pro the bike color hammer frog spawn in the back the deadpool and the elegance So this is my tank guys, like I said, um, man I haven't really, I've been really bad uh, uh, maintaining this aquarium, focusing on this aquarium. What I want to do right now, my plans is actually to shed every tank that I have in the house if possible um, and then wait until next year. That's if I can sell everything by one month. But anything, I know for sure by next year I'm going to start the new build towards the left that it's going to be a planet tank. My wife said if I do a freshwater planet tank just to go all out to actually do things right. And that way I don't be setting up tanks and stuff like that. She just says just keep one tank, one tank of each. One planet tank, one reef tank, but do it nice um, so you can see the progress of it and see how everything grows. And that's going to be the first project for next year is going to be that planet tank setup. Um, we have so much I ideas for that. Um, we're not sure if we're going to use AI Prime Freshwater or we're just going to go to Flubel. That is something that I was thinking um, when I set both of these tanks up again. After this gets shut down of doing Flubel 3.0 for fresh water, Flubel 3.0 for salt water. Um, yeah, so we'll see what, what happens. This is the 30 gallon long Innovator Marine update, guys. Let me take out the blue so you guys will be able to see this tank again. Let's go. Take out the filter. Just drop it like that. Alright guys, so this is pretty much it. Sorry if my voice sounded a little bit more boring or like if I didn't want to talk. It is Sunday night. Um, I woke up from a nap, so I was like, you know what, I've been wanting to make a video. But every time I want to make a video on this tank, um, I get busy or I, I just have things to do. So I said, let me just pick up the camera right now, make this video uploaded. Uh, just so the fish family know that I'm still here on YouTube. Um, so yeah, guys, there isn't really nothing, nothing different in this aquarium. One thing, let me know what you guys think. This was covered with coralline algae. The shell of this hermit crab, and it just turned white. Um, so that is like a sign also of what's going on in this tank. Um, corals are not doing so good either, so I don't know what what could be. I don't know if it's because I mess with the 
with the uh, with the settings of this light. Also, remember when I first set up this tank, it was AI Primes. Went to Kessel because I seen how Kessel was over there with the corals that were growing. I don't know if I shock all the corals that were here. Um, that's why everything started dying off. Everything started going downhill. I'm not sure. But one thing I did notice today was that since the light is a little bit higher, the corals um, are doing well. So I don't know if the light was just too bright and affecting the corals. Remember, this is a Kessel AP700, which is a pretty strong light for a shallow 30 gallon long intermarine marine tank. These tanks aren't really that big. As you can see, the width of it is short. So. The light turned blue, so that's probably a sign <laughs> to end this video. I thank you guys for watching. Um, if you like this content, you're welcome to hit the like, subscribe button, comment anything down below. And I'm out, guys. Thank you guys again, Fish Family. I hope everybody's aquariums are doing well, and I hope everybody's doing well in their personal life. I'll be uploading a video soon. Till then, peace.